Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Java and why so many people want to be Java developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, Java is so behind technology wise, why do so many people want to be Java developers? Well, I'll tell you. Don't tell anybody, but it's all about money. That's exactly what it's about. Money, 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 money. That's what it's all about. You see, Java is the world's biggest language when it comes to providing jobs. Well, apart from uh, maybe JavaScript, because it's JavaScript is pretty much everywhere at this point. But for backend work, Java is the biggest player when it comes to job security or job relevancy or things like that. The only other languages that I know of that have the same sort of level, like it's at the same sort of level. Some claim that Python is going to is becoming that sort of thing today. I'm a little bit skeptical to that uh, to, to that this is actually the case for job relevancy that it's very 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 popular language. But when it comes to employment options, usually Java and C Sharp are fairly, fairly involved. So if you are one of, if you want to be a career programmer, if you're really only, only in it for job security and money and things like that, and I'm not talking about trying to make the biggest bucks or working at the trendiest companies or anything like that, you really just want to be a like an average Joe programmer who gets a fairly decent salary and has a job security and can kind of just do your thing and then you go and you go home to your wife or your husband or something like that and cook with your kids on the weekends, that sort of person, then Java is definitely the thing that's going to give you all of those things, the house included. And that's pretty much it. Java is never it has it, it has been many many years since java was on the forefront of technical innovation i would say that i don't like uh, i don't even remember a time when uh, it, it was before my time when this was considered but i have talked to co-workers of mine and friends of mine who have been working for longer than i have who used to be and be around in the industry back in the days when Java actually started to emerge and become this big success and so forth. And, you know, at that time, it became a big thing. And it's pretty much been living off that established legacy for, for, for quite a few years now. It's dropping in popularity now, fairly, fairly, well, I'm not gonna say sharply, but there's a very steady curve downwards in popularity and other languages are rising up. But it's still, I mean, if you can, you can just think about it yourself, if it was the biggest game in town in, for years and years and years and quite, well, almost, um, I would say most of the really large industries have Java in some format. It's like very, it's so common that you can almost assume that any company that is at least 30 years old has it in some way at least. And some of them have established their entire infrastructure and like their, all of their projects are, are done in Java. That happens as well. So if you're looking for a job, that's pretty much where the money is because the big money or like the secure jobs are usually found in these really big organizations that have such enormous amounts of code that they basically need developers all the time. They can never have enough developers because the money isn't the problem for these large corporations. The problem is that they need to maintain market dominance and have enough people to deliver on all the different projects that they are working on. So Java is definitely a good investment if you want to be part of that group of people that they are looking for the most pretty much. If you if you want to work in a startup or a trend or a trendy company or something like that, then it's still sort of relevant because Java still does have, I would say, the best foundation knowledge that you can get. Apart from maybe C Sharp, C Sharp is, a, in my opinion, a little bit of a nicer experience for a beginner to learn, and you can still you still get the same values with object-oriented programming and the established patterns that most of the industries like the 
professional uh, great software developers are using like domain driven design and test driven development and all of these things are kind of baked in together into this community of development and so you get a lot of that with you as well kind of well, I'm not going to say for free but it, it's it, it, these are natural parts of these languages so I would say that that's pretty much the answer right there. Java is that popular or is still popular even though it's not doing anything amazing these days innovation wise because it is so damn popular and so established in the corporate world. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to have a well, at least a happy life outside of work with uh, job security and like a fairly decent pay and so forth, then Java is probably a very good investment, if not one of the best investments that you can make because the demand for your skills is pretty much constant because we don't have enough developers and all the big corporations with the most amount of money and budgets and all of that good stuff, they pretty much all use Java in some fashion or C Sharp or something like that. And of course, this is not the only way to make a living, but this may be an explanation as to why so many people are still going into Java. Another one would have been that the education system still favors Java heavily, but it kind of both comes back to the same sort of reason. It is a very good beginner language because it will teach you quite a lot of things about how to do professional grade software development. And that's because most of the big companies are using it in some fashion. Have a great day.